Hi everyone, it's Dr. Romani. Welcome back to this YouTube channel and all things related to narcissism, narcissistic relationships, and toxic people in general. I'm going to throw you another one in that Proverbs series that I'm enjoying putting together. Today we're going to take on a great proverb, a wolf in sheep's clothing. And to all of you, if you come up with proverbs you think are worth talking about, drop them in the comments section. I've got a lot already, so we'll see if you're sending me some of the ones I have or if you have new ones. So let's talk about a wolf in sheep's clothing. You've heard this one before. I'm sure many of you have. And if you didn't know, it's sort of fun to origin to research the origins of this. The origin of this one, a wolf in sheep's clothing, is from one of Aesop's fables about the wolf who covered himself in the sheep's coat to mix in with a flock of sheep and then who killed the shepherd who did not see the disguised wolf and then was, I guess, able to proceed to kill the rest of the sheep. Interestingly, that Aesop reference again appears in the New Testament, which may be the reference some of you are familiar with and is a, li is a twist on a line spoken by Jesus in the New Testament about false prophets. Aesop's writings are pre-biblical, so the reference was already out there and likely was already kind of part of, I don't know, whatever the, the conversational wisdom that was, that was floating in the world. So that, this means that for about 2,500 years, people have had parables that they've known warning them of those who have malevolent motives disguising themselves to do harm. For 2,500 years, we have known that some people disguise themselves to get close and hurt us. So, I'm sure some of you are already like, well, yeah, this is related to narcissism. The relationship of this proverb, a wolf in sheep's clothing, to the understanding of narcissism is obviously as clear as day. Many people often ask, hey, listen, if these patterns are this toxic, if they are entitled and rageful and manipulative and invalidating, why don't people see this stuff early and get away? Well, because of the whole sheep's clothing thing, right? Narcissists, because of their focus on the superficial and the need for validation, have a really, really great front game. They are charming. They are charismatic, they are confident, they are curious, and they are often very, very well put together. Interestingly, research has shown that narcissists actually dress better and look better than non-narcissists because they put so much more time into their appearance. They actually, it's not just time, they put time, they put money, they put attention, and they put value into their appearance, and they judge other people on that basis as well. Anybody watching this who has ever gotten into a romantic or an intimate relationship with a narcissist will often report that the attraction that they had was magnetic, seductive, and hard to resist. Interestingly, even the covert narcissist have some good sheep's clothing. Theirs may not be designer sheep's clothing, but they do. What the covert narcissist will do is they'll often double down on this pseudo empathy. They will envelop their target with lots of very focused, intense conversation. The covert narcissist will often show a pseudo vulnerability and, and almost a sense that they need to be rescued and that can actually even be more seductive than charm and charisma for many people. That idea that, oh, I could rescue or save or help this person is even more seductive. As a result of this, many people who have experienced narcissistic abuse actually get mad at themselves, feeling that they should have been smart enough, that they shouldn't have been tricked or snowed, that they were so foolish that that's the reason they got tricked. Remember that being drawn in by narcissists happens to the best of us. 
listen, even nature is in on this. What is nature? Nature is all about the prettiest, biggest, flashiest flower getting the birds and bees, or the bird with the best plumage getting the mate, or the lion with the biggest mane getting to mate with the most robust lioness, right? We see this happen. But I don't know, frankly, if those pretty flowers or well-feathered birds or perfectly maned lions do end up gaslighting, invalidating, or blaming their mates. I think in nature it's a bit of a get in, get out kind of thing. Frankly though, male lions do seem very selfish. It's another story for another day. So what do we take from these wolves in sheep's clothing? Counterintuitive as it is, charisma, the sort of sheep's clothing of the narcissist, should be a red flag. In fact, one interesting research study sort of pointed to the relationship of charisma to sort of success as a leader as an upside down U, like the letter U upside down when it comes to this idea of leadership, meaning that very low charisma wasn't good for leadership, very high charisma wasn't good for leadership, but sort of a perfect mid-level of charisma was what worked best. But when you see the perfect exterior, that person who's almost a little bit too good to be true, the proverbial sheep's clothing, pay deep attention. Try and look at what is behind that furry, or I guess charming exterior. Ask pointed questions. Watch how they treat other people. Critically pay attention on how you feel when you're in their presence be mindful and take a step back. Too many people want the fairy tale to be true. Too many people want the charming, charismatic wolf to be a gentle lamb. The toxic patterns of any narcissistic relationship pattern show themselves early. Ask anyone who has been in a narcissistic relationship. The red flags were there pretty much from the jump. Our enabling culture means you gave second chances and trauma bonding means you made endless justifications. And the wolf in sheep's clothing metaphor or proverb is also quite useful if you are dealing with a narcissistic family member or boss or friend, you may have very clearly experienced the contentious, invalidating, and cruel behavior they can pull off when nobody is looking. So they, it turns out that they're a wolf with you and a sheep with everyone else which can feel isolating, confusing, and frustrating. And so the next time a sheep approaches you, don't relax, take a minute, and try and look behind the wool. And yeah, if you keep having to always peek behind the wool, it does mean all of us need to be a little more discerning and circumspect and careful. And let me tell you that 25 years of Aesop's wisdom tells us there's nothing wrong with that. So thanks again for tuning in and hope that lets you remember a wolf in sheep's clothing as a way to honor that warning bell against the narcissist in our lives.